Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Welcome to episode 184 of the Guitar Builders Basics video podcast. Luthiers, tips, tricks, and training from me, Ben Crow, at Crimson Guitars in the UK. Uh, I have a couple of questions today that are related. And uh, it is to do with one of our products. It's the Crimson Guitars Finishing Oil, but it goes across the board uh, on any oil finish. Any similar oil finish, there are semi-drying, total drying, or non-drying oil finishes, so uh, uh, a drying oil finish. But anyway, the, the first part is from Thad Schumacher on the forums. He says, hi Ben, is it possible to get a super shiny finish with the finishing oil, something like a nitro type shine, uh, but still have the feel of an oil finish? Uh, thanks for all you do and thanks for liking my page. Uh, it's a pleasure, Thad Schumacher, Schumacher Guitar Works. And then the second half is from Steve Tubb asking about uh, if finishing oil drips on the surface of a guitar and dries before you notice, really annoying, he put that in parenthesis, uh, what is the best solution? Okay, these are obviously related because it's about the same product. However, there's more to it. Uh, okay, yes, it is possible to get a relatively shiny finish with our guitar finishing oil. Um, and it's almost, <clears throat> I've completely forgotten the words I want. I just, I'm just gone, it's finished. <sighs> Anybody would, would think I've been talking <laughs> for ages, I've, I've lost my mind. Okay. Basically, don't put on too much finish. Uh, this is a little and often let it dry sort of a process. If you put on a lot of guitar finishing oil or teak oil or tongue oil or floorboard oil, I used floorboard oil once because um, it's similar sort of stuff and it's drying and the chemicals in that stuff nearly killed me. Uh, it was nasty stuff. Um, this was many, many years ago. If you put too much on, it does kind of act like a varnish, uh, which means that you are going to have to, once it's fully dried, which will take a, a long time because there's so much of it on, you're going to have to take a wet and dry sandpaper to it and rub it all down, rub it flat and then put more on. And one of the things I love about guitar finishing oil is that you don't have to do that, or you don't have to do that very much. Now, what I tend to do is put uh, penetrating coats on, and I flood the guitar, put as much oil as I possibly can. It penetrates into the, into the wood as much as, as, as it can over a relatively short period of time. And then I rub everything off. I don't want any oil left on the surface at all. I wanted to feel that lovely feel, wood, basically. And uh, I will go back after that first application and check it every five or 10 minutes and rub back a little bit more. And what you're doing, we use white tissue paper and because it's relatively strong, it's, it's industrial stuff, not toilet roll sort of stuff. This is not soft for your pleasure. This is relatively, relatively coarse, um, strong paper. But because it is paper, it has a grit to it. And uh, it's got some silicon in it and it polishes and it buffs. And the actual process of rubbing the old oil off buffs up the finish and gives you that shine that you are after. Uh, after the initial coat, build it up a little bit uh, you, could, you can probably get away with two or three coats a day. Put the oil on, let it sit. It depends on the temperature where you are at, but a, a nice, relatively warm workshop, if any of you have anything like that. I'm standing next to a heater here right now. Mm -hmm. um, the, the oil will start going off, and if you run your finger through it, before it goes off, it's just... Once you start feeling a little bit of drag, that's when you want to start rubbing for all you are worth. There's a statement in there somewhere. Uh, 
or a joke or something, I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments below. Uh, rub away all of the excess. If you leave oil on to cure, then you have a problem. Much like Steve's question about the drip. Uh, get everything off, buff it down. And I do that for two or three coats. Get it off, get it off. And every time you, you do, you're buffing in more shine. So this is the actual shining process as you go. Um, now the very, very best finishes that I've managed to achieve is actually in the first coat, I will take a 1500 grit or a 2000 grit wet and dry paper and use that to rub the oil in. This both fills the grain, which gives you a shinier surface, and buffs the surface of the wood and buffs the oil at the same time. And that is what you have to do if you've got an oil drip. There's no way to get that drip off without leaving an obvious mark of some sort. What you need to do is either cut the drip off with a particularly sharp scalpel or chisel, uh, or sand it off with a hard uh, sanding block so that you're not sanding on either side of the, uh, of the drip. Sand that down, and then you have to get the entire surface of the instrument sanded back to 2000 grit or 1500 grit wet and dry paper so that it is uniformly matte, and then start again with the uh, application of oil. And if you use that process, you can conceivably go higher than 2000. You could go up to micro mesh levels of wet and dry paper, 20,000, 30,000 and you can get a very, very shiny finish that would look similar to Nitro. And we've done it here. There's uh, a guitar that, well, a lot of the guitars that Tom makes uh, downstairs, he gets a, a very shiny oil finish. So uh, that's it. The, the little and often, use fine wet and dry paper and uh, be consistent with it, basically. But the most important rule is a small amount of oil spread out over the whole guitar and then as it starts to cure, buff it all the way off. Um, get rid of any wet oil. If you touch it with your hand after, I often have a glove on one hand and no glove on the other hand so that I can feel how wet or dry the wood actually is. And uh, there we go. Uh, thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Consider supporting our Patreon as well, where you get even more questions answered like this. There's a, a weekly Patreon Q&A show as well. And, uh, uh, and I would really appreciate your support. But please also send us questions for this show and ideas for mini tutorials, uh, Quick, short, five, ten minute videos of me showing you some process or something. And... Uh, yeah, we would appreciate that. We've got to keep the ideas coming for, for all of this. Uh, and I would appreciate your support. So, thank you very much. Click like, subscribe, click that bell button so you get notifications, etc. And please let me know what you think in the comments below. A lot of you... Ha! That's weird. <laughs> More of my guitar finishing oil has been applied to guitars that I've never met before than I have. So uh, you guys might actually know more about my finish than I do now. I've found different tips and tricks. So please share those in the comments below. I would love to know. I will, uh, I will see you soon. I nearly said stay frosty. Ha! Stay frosty. Cheerio. Stay frosty. What the hell?